Okay, I'm back. Since this is going to be video number three doing my makeup, um, I let's just go on and do the next video for Chantal and react to that while I finish up my makeup. We'll try spending the whole day working on myself. There is this that I got off of Amazon and I would like to try it. It is that magnetic lashes that you just do a liner and then the lashes are supposed to stick on. So let, let's just do my finish off my makeup and then put on these lashes and see how they work. And, and let's finish doing my makeup and reacting to Ch Chantal working on herself for a whole day. Cause that's all it takes, you know. I'm using NYX liner first to do the cat's eye and then I will use this to put over the top to do the lashes. I'm in a busy area downtown so you're probably going to hear a lot of noise. And you're going to hear me talking and bitching a lot. It is beautiful today. It's really amazing how much the sun coming out and it's just being a nice day really makes such a difference. So she just got done bitching about Charlie Gold. And she was all hyped up, and, and but now she just seems very happy. And I actually like seeing how happy she is. I hope that she's just not faking it for the video. But we're like 30 seconds into it, and she just seems really legit happy. And I hope that we see more of this of Chantal. This energy. Well, as you can see, I'm happy with my hands because I got my nails done. So, yeah. I don't like I that pointed nail look. At this place, at one place I go. Love the nail technician. We always have good chats. And I just love getting it done. And this is like a matte pink. Very nice. And, you know, a good length so that I'm not always like jabbing my brain when I pick my nails. So Ew. Today I just wanted to do a video, I guess, talking about like my experience um, today with therapy. I'm not going to like go into like detail about what I talk about and stuff like that because it's personal but um today I I'm glad she's finally going to therapy to commit to spending the day getting my shit together and um doing things to take steps in the right direction to, to get my health back in order because it's been out of order for a very long time um therapy was very good and um, more than I probably had imagined. Um, the therapy, therapy is, is good. It's good to talk to somebody. Cool. I've been talking to somebody to get along very well with them. One, you know, and since with my shit because my shit's not together right now. They're very knowledgeable. Um, That's their job. They're supposed to do that. Understanding and compassionate. And I'm going to be talking with my hands a lot because I think I'm like cool now that I have nails. <laughs> Um, just very compassionate, very, like, it's good to have somebody really listen to you, like, in detail, wanting to know about, yeah. in detail about things. It feels good to talk to somebody. Areas that you need to improve your life, like, and everything I would say, she would follow up with, like, an understanding statement, like, well, that must have been really hard for you, and, like, uh. just, like really good eye contact, just making me feel really like she cares, and, like, like, you're in good hands. And apparently they have like this therapy group um, has a psychologist. This is like a psychotherapist. They have a psychologist. They also have a psychiatrist who is on hand to give consultations as needed. So I do have a psychiatrist um, as part of an eating disorder program, like I always say. So I did make an appointment. That was another thing I did. This is drying out. From, for mid-March was the earliest I could get in. Oh, no. Um, I want to get back on some medication, I believe. Um, but this therapist is going to help me. Like, we're going to do, like, a timeline. Mm. Of what she really wants to tell me mm. about the depression, number one, because she thinks that, you know, everything. Dang it. The depression is kind of, like, tied into everything. Like, we're kind of, like, going to deconstruct. I missed it. Like, work on them. So, like the eating disorder I need a q-tip is also related into that depression and she thinks that without managing that that it's going to be harder to manage eating disorder so um so yes so we, we really did make some good headway um she really seemed to keep going back to this group thing with the with the breakup and the hysterectomy 
so that seems she can tell that that's like a really big point of contention in my life right now more than I probably even realize and um so she's really just like uh, apparently they do assessments too like kind of like where like the psychiatrist can do assessment with the uh, therapist they work together you know and well they're supposed to do that do like an assessment like you know for bipolar manic um she just based on like an assessment she did with me today that i don't have those things she thinks that the main thing is like this depression which is good so um it takes a lot more right to now. assess so bipolar we did talk a lot about things and you know it was just like an introductory visit and i have an appointment for next monday so it is very expensive i'm not gonna lie <laughs> But it's, it's time that I really, you know, put my money to good use instead of just wasting it on food all the time. So Right. And frivolous things. So. Her, her, well, hopefully she keeps this up because, because it sounds like people. she's so going on the right track. She's my life better. And she, um, so what we're, we're going to tackle those things. That we, we, she can get more structure back into my life, working on better sleep, better um, organization and stuff like that. So just overall better quality of life because I'm really not coping well right now. And I, I'm using food um, to sort of kind of deal with that. It's really just making it worse. Um, anyways, so I just wanted to talk a bit about that because it was a really, really good thing. I'm really glad I really just pushed myself to go um, and, and see her. I think that it will be a good thing overall and I'm gonna give it a chance um, I um, hope a I really place. really it's a little like shit so I really hope that she does give this a good chance because you know we've all said it you know for years now when watching Chantal and her behaviors and how she does things you know she gets on her high horse and tells everybody if you're not vegan you're not doing the the planet good and blah 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 and all that jazz she was very con she gets to be very condescending when she learns something and then she wants to tell everybody about it and if people don't believe in what she's doing she's very condescending about it so her behavior people is what people is why people watch her is that's why I watch her. I watch her for the drama. I'm sorry, but that's free entertainment for me. Um, <laughs> she is so drama filled. And so it's just nice to, you know, watch somebody else's drama for once instead of dealing with your own crap. This is Tarte Lifted. I really like this one for like the easy out the door things, but I just want to put a little bit of coat of coloring on my lashes before I start with this thing right here I'm gonna finish off the rest of my face before we put on before we try these lashes so let's go on and finish her 10 minutes of her thing do you like think it has like little red boots oh my god it's so cute the way it's walking makeup geek um sun-kissed oh, bronzer yeah. I just like I really love this bronzer. And I do want to apologize to my loyal viewers. Um, oh, <gasps> what? I do I do get a lot of hate online or whatever? But yeah, okay. I also, do have a okay. She does have a massive loyal following. Now I've made comments, and it was just it wasn't anything you know bad, but it was a comment just to see if it gets filtered out or not. And my comments got deleted immediately. Um, it was just an observation that I wanted to bring up. And it got deleted immediately. It was right after she had posted. It was on her community tab. I was reacting to her community tab posts. And so um, she had deleted my comments. And my comments were not bad at all. She, you know. So she does get... A lot of the hate comments all get filtered out and deleted. She goes through and she said on her channel many, many times that she does, you know, filter those. And she has no shame in filtering those. You know, if I share a channel with my daughter, my daughter's extremely busy right now, so she's 
barely on the channel and I'm not doing unboxings. You know, I've had my husband on the channel, I've had my son on the channel, but I'm a family friendly channel, so I don't cuss, I don't cuss in my everyday life, so not cussing is, is an easy one for me. But every time she cusses in her videos, I blur it out, you know? Because I just, I want to be a family friendly channel to where you can watch me and not have to worry about what your kids are going to see or hear or anything like that. So, but that's me, that's me. Makeup Geek, and this is in the color XOXO. It is a very bright pink, but it is so flattering on my skin tone. So, let me find my blush brush. Let's get this on. It's just so pretty. And I just did a little, a li one dab, barely, barely touch, and then I flicked my wrist and then I just, and it blends so well. I'm barely touching the skin and I'm just blending it. Tap, flick, and that's all I need. And then I just blend it in. And it blends in so beautifully. It is the most beautiful blush ever. And then sometimes I go back into my bronzer blush and I will go in and just kind of go over the top of it. Looks like there's a lot, but there actually isn't. Not that much. Okay. I'm going to go into my highlight. This is MAC in um, Gilded Whisper of Guilt. And this one, they have this one on their website, which is why I use it all the time. But this one was their Christmas one, um, which has a snowflake in it. And if you guys know me, you know that I love anything that has snowflakes in it because multiple sclerosis is referred as the snowflake disease because no two are alike so I just love snowflakes um, so anyway I have this Moda uh, brush it's the BMX 265 glow I love this for my highlight brush my hair is and if you want just a little whisper use like this type of brush and it just gives like that nice healthy glow. But if you want that highlight to pop, you know, I definitely love this brush for that. Look at that highlight. Oh, yeah. You. But I gotta do my lips. Face. And, like, I understand that the people who really, uh, my supporters are here to watch me. They really want me to succeed, and they really like watching me for my personality. The rest, obviously, <laughs> probably are hate watchers, but. I'm like, not a hate watcher. I do come I for the drama, though. Constantly bringing negativity on this platform and responding to it is just really a downer. And most of my fans aren't the type of people that will go and, like, hate on other channels or get involved in that. They just really... Oh, no, 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 honey. Honey, honey, honey. Have you really been in your I comment section? Because if anybody says anything that's even, even constructive criticism, your lo loyal followers go after them. So you can't say that your followers are not the type of people who do that because they do. Plus, you delete all you delete all the negative comments. So that's why your loyal followers cannot go after those who are haters. Yes, there are some haters, there are some bullies out there. I am not one of them. I will say some constructive criticism though. So anyway, this is ColourPop and Lumiere. I'm trying to use up my lipsticks um, of a certain because I'm doing my epic lip pro project lip or whatever I probably should have went with a light a lighter lip than this but I could do a lighter gloss over the top of it oh wait I think I might know what to do let's do this Jeffree Star in glazed let's put that right over the top of it how this works this is probably going to be insane this is how it comes and I'll leave it in the description box below if this actually works out but it looks like there's some 
little pliers here. Let's take this plastic thing off. It's all in this pink, which is really cute. And then what do we got here? We have this compact. It's very light, like cheap compact. It's very, very light. Okay, so there are the lashes. They're pretty lashes. Now it seems like there's another container in here. Is there? Oh, there is. Oh, there's two sets of, okay. There's two sets of lashes. Are they the same lash? They look like they're the same lash, but they come with two sets of lashes. So there's the lashes. They're pretty. Oh, there's like spelling errors in there. Can you see that? It says cotton. C-O-T-T-O-M. Cotton pads instead of cotton pads. These, FYI, you will not be able to trim them because there's magnetic things all the way to the end. Okay. Let's do this. Let's listen to this and let's do this. Unlike, you know, audiences on like hateful channels, that's their audiences is all haters, pretty much. No, they're not. So like, is there haters on my channel? Oh, hell no. When I really think of the energy I put into that, it's just like that's why I removed those video, most of those videos. Like, I had one up because I feel like it was respectful. I don't need to take it down. It wasn't insulting anybody. It's the one she's talking about, Charlie Gold. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like. Oh no. Or anything like that. Um, oh my God, this talk is so cute. And at the end of the day, like I'm just thinking, like, do I really give a fuck what Charlie Gold thinks of me? No, I don't. Ew. You know, so it's See, just like, she's just not a nice person. This is really hard with those things are flailed out everywhere. I'm just so afraid to get it on my... <sighs> you see? Uh, it has rubber boots on. Look. <laughs> Legit rubber boots. Um, anyway. So I was like, I don't really, do I really give a shit what these people think of me? You know, like I have to worry just about myself. Like I'm, I'm starting to take care of myself and I need to work on myself. That was actually pretty easy. I can't lose grip on that and I can't let. Is it on? Like. It's like, on. I get so like, I get so mad. Huh. I like bother. I that, did you see how easy that was? I need to like just. Oh. Whatever, you know. Shook. So. And I'm tugging on it, and does it feel like it's going to come yeah, off? You know, it's just not worth my energy. So, yeah, Whoa. I don't worry about just, like, bringing that on my channel, because that's not what my channel's about. So, yeah. Um, okay. So anyway. I'm shooketh. That was way too easy. I've never um, put on lashes that easy, ever. Whoa. So I guess that's about it. Um, probably I'm going to have to snip those things off. His therapy appointment and bring him home. We're going to see that apartment tomorrow. They called to confirm. And um, I'm just trying to get day by, through day by day. You know, I mean, yeah, that's all I'm trying to do right now with my life. So... Um, so therapy, yeah, overall was good. It is going to be really difficult to talk about things, certain things. I don't let it dry all the way, but I just like let it tour the coolness from my eye. I don't like to, to really revisit, but anything that I really don't feel comfortable talking about or going into detail, I don't have to, is what she said. So, um, yeah. So I'm glad I did that. So I have my appointment for next ah! month for therapy. Um, Seriously, that's the only thing I don't like is because that stupid thing like my... flings black all over. Psychiatrist. That, that was really problem. easy. Look at that. Did you see how easy that was? Um, so to apply? Says. I'm shooketh. And then. Shooketh the to my chorus. I don't want to do, wanna do too much at once, but I really want to try either OA again or there's a program called Smart Recovery. It's like more just like oh, a no. general addictions recovery, but I'm going to try and see what it's like. I yeah. feel like all addictions are technically the same, 
but for some reason I feel more supported being around people with eating disorders or like food addiction instead of just like, you know what I'm saying? Which is what OA would be. I think smart recovery is just more of a general. Okay, so I just had to different types of uh, readjust items. one so point of it. I'm gonna try because it's not like a twelve. But program. it was a it it's was easy. On, like, so easy, but look at this thing. With because I have black everywhere. Like more practically deal more practical dealing with. Craving, Are black like, anywhere else? You know, urges and stuff like that. Like you know, it just seemed more practical to me and less like religious and stuff or like a higher power. I mean, I just have trouble understanding that part because it's like... I like these me, lashes like, like, a you lot. You to take responsibility and, and put in the work yourself and not just leave it up to some magical being. Like, unless I'm misunderstanding that part. I really don't get it. Is she, like, dogging on people who like, have a religion I'm who... Trying to have control, but if you don't have control, how are you going to change... I don't know. I don't get that part. That's why I struggle with OA. So if anyone can explain, um, OA, what's OA? To, even though I get them to explain it, I don't still don't get it. <laughs> Is she talking about a religion? I'm so confused like, right now. A higher being can be anybody, but it's like no, like it can't be anybody. A higher being may as well be God, or because like what other higher being? You know, anybody know can have a higher like, being, but you anyways, can't. You can't. Um, you can't do that higher being for anybody or just anything so just wanted to update you that i'm just taking today to get all my appointments in order and try like just keep searching to try to find as much help as i can with this um it's hard for food addiction it really is um because i feel and binge eating disorder when you're obese because it's like i said like there's so many programs covered by the government um, for if you need rehab for like um, drug or alcohol addiction but if you need or like if you're anorexic or bulimic but like if you need help with like my specific situations like I've made phone calls to lots of inpatient facilities um, so and it's always been the same result it's just like brick wall after brick wall it's frustrating hey guys I wanted to insert uh, a note here that I forgot to say I see some comments that, uh, or videos directed towards me where people claim to have called inpatient facilities that are willing to deal with my situation, and uh, I obviously have not found any, so uh, since you have taken the time to dig out some, if you could kindly leave the names, I'll be glad to look into it. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that means she is so lazy that she can't do it on her own. Oh my gosh. I didn't even need this thing. But. I'm shook at I like this thing. I like it a lot. Who would have thought? I will leave this in the description box below. So if you guys want to get yourself. Your hands. Get your hands on these. Lashes. They're pretty darn cool. I have never. Ever put on lashes that easily. Before. Ever. And they're really nice lash. They're they fan they they get a little bit bigger. They fan out. Let's see. What do y'all think? I actually like it, and I'm very impressed with this thing. I am not impressed with the brush. Holy crap! Is that brush sucky? So I need to take this out. I'll wash the whole thing, trim that thing down because those things flinging out everywhere. No bueno. No bueno. Don't like that. But these lashes dang you guys need to try these I saw Tati do it like a long time ago and I've always been curious about it and I don't think I got the same one that she did and I just feel like Turned every time coffee. I get you know turned away you know it's just like a let down all over again so yeah she's not trying hard enough it's like a She's not trying hard enough. If people are going out there out of their way to find these programs for her because they love and respect her that much, then why is she going to be using their research? That tells me that she didn't try hard enough. When people can take the time out of their own day to find it for her. 
And then all she's going to do is use all of their time and devotion to find it to help herself out when she could have done that herself. So. I feel like the therapy is like a good step, but I feel like I'm still like in danger of like, you know, things will fall in place eventually. So anyways, guys, I just wanted to talk to you guys, I guess, about that. And um, I don't really have much else to say. So I'll see you later. Bye, guys. Hi, Pete. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Pete. These are pizzas. They actually look like legit good on you, though. What do you think? Do you like them? They're the, they're the right shape. Like, like, they so look like they're the right women. size and shape that I like is the frustrating part. <laughs> like, the rhinestones are tacky as hell, but I like the overall design, the size and shape. Yeah. These are the kind of sunglasses that I want to wear. It's just I don't want the goddamn things on them. <laughs> No, I think that's cool that he's wearing those. All right. Well, um, just thought you'd say hi to the people and show them your glasses. Hi to the people. <laughs> See, I really like Pete's. He's a good, he's good people. Say bye now. Bye. <laughs> now. So I, I really like Pete's. Pete's, I come for the drama and, and to watch Pete's. I, I really like his personality. I love, you know, you know, yeah, I'm also into, you know, I like geeky guys. I mean, look at my husband. <laughs> um, so, <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys enjoyed the I look. I'm going to take some photos and I'm going to post them on Instagram and I'll maybe pop it up here so you can actually see what the color looks like in natural light and not this faux. This, this is a light that comes with my mirror. I have a lighted mirror. So it really washes me out on the camera. In person, I could see that I look normal. It looks like my I have like crazy amount of blush and all that stuff, but in person, I don't have that at all. It's it looks good so I'll take photos in natural light plop it up here for you to see I'll plop it on Instagram as well and yeah thank you guys for joining me in this react I did not go off as much on this one as what I have in our other two videos but they will be listed up in the cards if you're interested in those and yeah thanks for spending your morning or afternoon or evening with me while I get ready just to clean and do some more packing <laughs> whoa but you know a girl's gotta feel good and um i'm sitting here looking at my perfume and i think i want to spray something on what do i want what do i want what i want what i want what do i want, want, want i have two here that are from my foreign exchange student rocky so i'm like looking at them like maybe i should put on one of those i have Burberry, and this is uh, Brit Rhythm for her. And then I have this thing here. I don't know what it is. It is, I can't pronounce that at all. Hmm, oh, I'll, I'll wear this one. This one smells good. Whoa, this has such a fine mist, holy cow. I don't know, can you, I'll spray myself, can you see it? Look at that fine mist. So, I just wore this one, whatever it is. And, uh, from my little Miss Rocky girl. And, yeah, I'm gonna continue decluttering. I gotta sneeze now. <laughs> that, that mist was so fine. And yes, I'm wearing a sports bra because I'm wearing pajama bottoms, which you probably saw when I got up. Um, they're too short for me. They're pajama bottoms that my mama made for my husband, but they were too big. So they fit me. So I wear them, but I'm tall. <laughs> my husband's short. So um, they're, they're high ride, uh, you know, they're, <laughs> they're short. They're, they're about two to three inches above my ankle because I'm 5'9 and I'm all legs. I am all legs. I have so much leg on me. So um, yeah. 
So I'm this is me. This is what you're gonna get today, and I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Who knows what that'll be. I'll see you. <laughs> Bye.